on today's episode of Breakout Boxing Spotlight. We talk to Little Joey ahead of his small creator boxing debut, talk about his beef with Grimvis, the history behind it, as well as their iconic bet that will happen to the loser of the fight. Little Joey is a promising young individual in the small creator scene, and although he is an esteemed content creator, he is he is here to put down a camera and put on the gloves. Today on Breakout Boxing Spotlight, we talk to Little Joey. Ladies and gentlemen, it is once again breakout time. The Rise Protocol has been completed July 27th. 2024 breakout new world order the next chapter in the breakout boxing legacy today we have another episode of spotlight and we are joined by little joey um ceo of uh starborn athletics man who has worked for multiple different promotions and is now here to fight on breakout after another fight which is my first question going into this, Joey. Um, you have had a long and histor historic run into Breakout. So <laughs> you have a long historic run in this community leading up to your fight on Breakout. So tell us how we got here. Because in your face-to-face, -face, you mentioned being in the scene since 01 and wanting to fight on 01. How long, why is it taking so long for us to get you here? Um, it's funny because like I never thought I'd even talk about this, but I can now. So, um, yeah. So the Grimvis fight was actually supposed to be it was gonna be on O three actually, and we were in talks for a little bit, and unfortunately, I was working with IFL at the time, and they considered that a conflict of interest. Didn't know how that made sense. I was doing media for them, not a fighter. Okay. But didn't want to mess up my stuff with them um, before uh, their downfall happened. But that's a whole other story. But, you know, couldn't do that on 03. You know, was, was able to get a fight on Vigilant. Um, and then the 04 event presented itself. And you guys reached out and I was like, ain't no way. I'm like, there's no way this is not happening for like, what, a second third time now like we're doing this nothing stopping this and uh now we're here well i mean it's good to see you here joey you know obviously you're you're a well-known member in this scene you're very well loved and respected however not by a certain man grimvis you know you guys have been going back and forth for a while now you guys went back and forth on my live stream because i believe <laughs> that we had a little debate about promotion and stuff like that. We are talking about Ant and Ivan Mills and stuff like that. And then Grimvis came in and it seemed like that came and stemmed from an argument you came on Twitter. So tell us the whole story on how you got here with Grimvis, because we know your story with Breakout. We know you've worked with multiple companies, but this man is probably your most, is the fight with the most storyline you potentially could have had. You know what I mean? You guys have said a lot to each other. You guys are polar opposites from two sides of the same coin almost. So tell us about that. Tell us this whole story with Grimbus. It was just crazy because like in my the first time I watched Grimbus's first fight, me personally, I didn't see a lot from him. And obviously going back and rewatching that and with knowing Yazde's experience and how much he's been kind of, you know, uh uh working on you know and and training boxing so long it's made me kind of rethink um Grimbus's kind of uh made me rethink his 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 performance really and so um with that being said you know i think at that time i was being and i said this in a space yesterday actually but i feel like me and slime are very similar in the fact that slime i see a lot of me when i first got into the scene i was running my mouth to a lot of people was saying a lot of stuff saying a lot of stuff uneducated too not saying and and, and i've even i've even said that to ant you know ant creates content and there's no doubt about that 
and I was talking out of my ass saying yeah, that he doesn't create content. So that's another thing. But, you know, I said some stuff about Grimm, said I wanted to fight either him or River, and River didn't seem as down, So and Grimvis seemed down, so I was like, all right, now we got a little, little bit of a storyline going. Um, hopefully, like, this can work out. And then it just kept getting better. I mean, just going on that live stream with you and just going back and forth with him, like, and everyone was kind of getting hyped for it. I was getting texts upon texts upon texts about, yo, you got to do this Grimvis fight. Like, this is this is the fight to make. Like, like I, I want to see this fight. And so the fact that it's finally happening is absolutely insane. And I think, um, obviously, we're not the most hyped fight right now. But I guarantee you that come come event time, we are going to be one of the most anticipated fights on the card. Well, it's good to see that you're here. It's good to see that despite all the talk and how you talked online to Grimvis, you might not necessarily agree with everything that you said before, but you're here to back it up. You're here to say, listen, I talked my shit. You talked my shit. We're going to settle it in the ring now like men. It's good to see that. Lil Joey, big strong man over here. You know what I mean? So Let's go. It's, I mean, it's good to see you here on Breakout. It's good to see you just here in general. But why Breakout? Why break out above any of these other promotions that have rose in the ranks, like uh, the CFL or anything like that? Why was Breakout the place to do this Grimpus fight? Is it just because of the storyline? Is it just because of the atmosphere? What is it? What is special about Breakout Boxing? I think I think it's two two reasons, and the number one reason is because you guys have been such a pivotal role in the small creator scene that it feels almost dumb to do this fight on any other promotion like it just it doesn't make sense there's like the breakout crowd is invested and then then we have i'm I'm pulling from different crowds across the internet and with my friends grimvis is pulling from it from his friends and all all that different stuff so but it all started from that one fight that grimvis did with yaze and it all started with me commenting on that fight so it only makes sense to do this on breakout well, it's good to see you here, Joey. Like I said before, like a thousand other times. But listen, you're here to set a statement, right? And obviously, you you have a fight before this. And obviously, it's going to be on another promotion. How do you feel that that fight is going to affect the fight with Grimvis? Do you think it's going to give you the adequate number, of, adequate ring and time in order to fight Grimvis, or do you think that it might actually give you a bit of an hindrance and you're actually here to prove yourself to other people? Because there's a lot of people in the community who have taken fights before having a fight on breakout and they've either had to pull out or they took the fight and maybe it might have hindered their performance on breakout. So are you here to set a statement in that regard and show the people why you can come back and do multiple fights? Yeah, so... Obviously, I've said this in different interviews, um, but I don't know. I know for sure I'm going to be fighting after these two fights. How soon after these two fights? I do not know. I have fallen in love with all this different kind of like fitness stuff, building a physique, building health. And and that's just become such a love of mine that that's where my content's going to be mostly, you know, pivoting towards. So it's really just to prove that I I can fight, I can be in there, I can entertain, and I can I can show everybody that, you know, even if you're starting out doing this, as long as you put in the work and you're working hard, then anything is literally possible. And while some people say it's a hindrance, some people say it's an advantage, I think it's both. I'm going to be fighting in front of a crowd, a really big crowd. Vigilant happens to have a big, you know, fan base where they're based so it's going to be a big crowd i'm going to get that experience of fighting in front of that um so i think that's an advantage the disadvantage is me you know fighting so close to the grim estate and not having enough time to recover well i mean it's good to see that you're open to take the challenge from the fighters from the fighters in the audience from the people the fans what can they expect from you from a boxing perspective? Can they expect you to see you as more of a technical fighter or can they expect you to see more of a um, rough and tough, grit, 
to the nail brawler type fighter? I, I really think it depends on the situation I'm in. Um, if, if I need to get out of a situation, I will brawl if I need to, but you know, I can, I can be technical if I, if I want to, you know, I can, I can pump out that jab quick. I can keep people at bay and I can, I can move quickly. So it's really a matter of the situation and the, and the, the fighter across from me. Um, but it's, it, that, that's, that's, what's important. I mean, this is a one-on-one -on -one sport. This is not a team sport. You're in there alone pretty much. So it's like, you have to, at least from my perspective, I have to be ready for any kind of scenario. And that means being able to brawl and being able to technically keep people at bay. That's good to hear, little Joey. Grimpus, you're here to finish the story with Grimpus, okay? You guys have talked a lot of shit to each other. You're here to back your words up, right? But you said in this video, in this video already, in the Spotlight episode, that after these two fights, it is not going to be the end of your boxing journey. Is there anybody out here, right here, right now, that you can call out to a fight or maybe potentially want to see yourself against in the ring in the future? Because this scene is growing every day. You know what I mean? You're about to have two fights, make your fighting debut after being a member in the scene and a well-loved member in the scene, not even fighting. So once you step through Appreciate the ring, you're going to break that barrier. So once you break that barrier, once you take on these two challenges, what do you see for yourself next? And what opponents can we see you against maybe potentially? I think a fight that makes sense right now after, after these fights would probably be AJ. I mean, that was the original fight that was going to happen on, on Vigilant. And um, I, I actually did get a lot of people that were hyped for this fight. They were like, this is going to be so great. There's so many people that like you. There's so many people that like AJ. There's so many people that hate you. There's so many people that hate AJ. Like, like it was just, it just worked so well. And I think, you know, the promotion from day one was just already starting to be peak. And you could already see like a kind of like a fire being lit between us. So I mean, I think that fight makes sense. If River's down to do, you know, I saw him diss Logic. Um, Logic's my favorite rapper, by the way. So River might have to knock you out for that. But uh, so River might have to get knocked out because he diss Logic. This is this is correct. That's not that's not good, River. <laughs> it's not good, man. Why'd you diss Logic, bro? You might catch that little Joey right hand. All up to to King River out there. He's my guy. <laughs> But listen, Joey, it's really good to see you on Breakout. Obviously, we have talked a lot in the past. You've actually interviewed me, so it's actually good to see me interviewing you. You know what I mean? Yeah, is there is anything fun. that you want to leave the audience with before we get out of here? Is there anything that they might, any expectations or maybe stigmatisms they might have about little Joey that aren't true? And what are you here to prove here at Breakout Boxing? Um, I'm here to prove that no matter where you are in life, whether you're thriving or whether you maybe aren't thriving as much, you can still get to the point where you are thriving or, or continue to thrive. Okay. There's always work to be done, but if you don't put that work in a hundred percent, it's not going to, it's not going to work. If you're not, if you're not putting all the pieces in to a house, it's going to fall apart. Mm. So if you're not putting 100% into everything you're doing, everything you love, then it, 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 you might as well just not be doing it. If you love it, do it 100%. Because I never thought any of this YouTube stuff was ever attainable until literally last year. And now I'm going to events. I'm meeting people like Pat and Lesra and, and, and all these crazy, awesome people across the internet. And, and and living a dream that in middle school felt absolutely impossible. So I can relate, yeah. Yeah, so, so keep just keep going. That's that's my message. Keep going. I'm so excited to be on breakout. It's gonna be gonna be a great event. I mean, that's all I can say really. That's <laughs> well, I mean, it's a good thing to say, Will Joey. It seems like you're very confident. It seems like you're ready to go on to this fight. I have one last question before we get out of here. Are you seriously going to get that tattoo of if you do lose to Grimbus? Do we have your word right here, right now, that that bet still stands? 
you have my word in that face to face and you have my word right here. If I lose to Grimvis, I will get the tattoo. I think that'll be a funny video that like either whoever loses, whoever has to get the tattoo, it's going to be a funny video and I'm going to vlog it. It's going to be great, but um, I'm not losing. So Grimvis, get ready to have Grimace tattooed on you. Well, listen, ladies and gentlemen, July 27th, you can tune in. Uh, you can go to Eventbrite down in the description if it is available at this time when you're watching this video. But if not, July 28th, 2024, you guys can watch this live at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That is when it's going down Sunday um, for our pre-recorded live stream. Joey, it is fantastic to see you and good to see you here. We will see you guys in the next episode of Breakout Boxing Spotlight. This is Pat Typhlusion. We'll see you at the fights. Peace. Had to lose my mind just so I could feel like this. Yeah. Had to lose my mind just so they could get the picture. Yeah. Cuban links cut in my wrist. Whoa. I got three holes in the whip. Whoa. All of these bitches be vicious. All of these bitches be vicious. Yeah. Popping these rubber bands. Popping these rubber bands. I need a hundred grand. Need like a hundred grand. I'm only showing a Donald, I promise you'll never know Donovan. I need a hundred grand, poppin' the rubber band. I run this, I'ma show them how we do it.